Whilst well, so guys, this is Rixalite signing in and welcome back to more LA Noir. I don't think today is going to be a very long episode because um, we are missing some footage yeah, I want to make homicide. of the game. You know, it's something. Made if you can get to that desk. I, I am on homicide, but I got advice after this. No idea. Um, maybe because it's harder work than homicide. But the, the so the issue that we had was um, the recording crashed. Um, sorry, the, the 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 save file crashed for something. I don't know why it crashed. It just did. Um, I couldn't control what happened there. But um, I'm just getting up a guide now just to finish off this correctly because I've done this perfectly compared to what happened before. We've done a lot of things differently. We found new evidence about footprints. So. We're good for that. We are on the Golden Butterfly. We are currently in in the police station. We need to talk to Hugo Muller first. Who's down here? We'll go talk to Hugo Muller first. We can wrap this case up. We can start the next case. And we're going to have to edit it out again because um, nudity happens. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. They did. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. When they you were. have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Okay. Um, first of all, let's go for disposal. Why did you burn your truth. shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Okay. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin him. I'm close up the blood. Okay. Access a braided rope. You know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. And then let us doubt that. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Okay, that's conf it's confirmed him with a, with a braid, but the blood is not covered up yet because we were telling the truth. Um, victim's vehicle re recovered, yeah. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. And I'm going to accuse this because I've got the bloody overalls. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. So why do we find bloody overalls then, my good sir? Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, Ooh. too? Also true. Um, access tire. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. Indeed. I know nothing about any tire iron. I'm going to lie about that. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. We know this one because we did this before. Well, we don't know this one because we've not seen it before. But the bloody tire. Why is my kind of monster? Your wife drove a Chevrolet, know. Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler Airflow. And that's the one we found. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your Sorry, wife came from a Chrysler. I'll leave the interrogation room. Because I don't think you're the murderer. It tells me not to leave. It's got a five star. And there's an achievement to get all case on five star. So with the replayability of the game, we can actually do that. Alright, if you're there. No, you're not. You're there. stop him with one round. Ah, interview room two is this way. Oh yeah, I know where we are now. Sorry, Rusty. I oh, got confused. All right. Captain. Uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Don't yes, let me down, son. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. 
Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. So we need to go doubt, truth, doubt, doubt. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a and then we can pin him for it, apparently. Which I really wanted like to do. had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? All right, let's first of all, place of employment. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Okay, cues. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. HM? You can't miss a place, big yellow letters, HM out front. They give you any workwear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. We got the green coverall on it. Hot, felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. All right. And then we have access to braided rope is the next question. Do you ever tie place? up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. Mm hmm. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. They seem like he's lying there, though, but apparently it's the truth. A farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? Up for braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. There you go. The motive for Mola murder. Well, there's a motive, yeah, for the little girl, essentially. Uh, footprints at crimes. Nope, that's the last one we need to ask. You killed me. Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Oh! He lied. But we don't have proof you lied, but he's lied. Ooh. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Hmm. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked So why are you not asking him what this guy looked like? Footprints at the crime scene. What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I can get my hands on. Hmm. I'm wearing 11s. This is doubt? You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe tens. Maybe eights. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? Do you think, think I was never punished? Nah, you, you must know what you're enough. doing is evil. Well, son. Nobody's perfect. I want to fucking break his fucking nose after that comment. Charge Eli it. Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. But all the evidence points to you, we've got the boots, the crime for size eights. You've got your HM overalls. We've got everything we need to put you away, boy. Don't you fucking worry none. But apparently we get a five star rating for that. Sounds good. Then we can start the next case. We need to edit. Shout. Oh yeah, boy! Punch some more! Fucking creepy motherfucker. Ooh. Ooh. Horrible when people get when I send shivers down my spine. Uh, it's rare. Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Hey, that's a better what we had last time. I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. We do. Even though we arrested the wrong guy, but I don't think we did, because I don't think all these are connected to the same murder, the homicide cases. And that's about it. Got all the things, got all the things. Five star. Eli Rooney can expect a warm welcome from Captain Donnelly and the District Attorney. That's what we live for. A's. We need five star ratings on all the cases to get an achievement. 
Okay, so we're back to the patrol desk. Good. Can I go to the one I'm currently doing now? I can. Ooh, I did this nicely before. See so you know what I mean with the five stars? Look. We nailed it. We nailed that shit, son. So we can actually... I'm going to look at this guy to get all the five stars. We don't need it right now, though. Because I've already done a five star in this case. But we're only going to go to the suspect of the... Or the investigation of the murder. So let's go. Then we can quit out and go back to what we need to do. Easy stuff. As long as the fucking video don't break again. So I really don't want to play for that level. So if things make no sense at all. Am I am doing the silk stocking video? Oh, yeah, because we're in the diner. Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. There you go. No, this is not yeah, the same scene we'll see. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Naked again? Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. That's true. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! Jesus, the that DA still happens. couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. So that scene still plays out no matter what. Because either way, it seems like you arrested the wrong person and one got away with murder, or you arrested someone who tried to escape and he wanted to pin you for it. So, kind of makes sense. He seemed like he was angry that time, but it makes more sense that way. Okay. We can do things our way now. So I think we only investigated the murder, and then we could wrap up. So yeah. We won't be doing any side cases, though. The alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. They probably yeah. would, to be fair. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea <laughs> I'm gonna try my best not to scratch my car, because I know to get a five-star rating, don't fucking fuck with the civilians! I know this. That's why I'm gonna let Rusty do all the work when I do the five-star rating cases! We're good. We're good. Ow. <laughs> There's no damage on there, that's fine. I think you will have one free hit. Because shit like that's tough to come by. Alright, that one might be a little bit different. Is it going to tell me to drive on the wrong side of the road? Okay. Editing time because murder is naked. Detectives, Yikes. they're ready to start the show. Okay. I'll take you through. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to do more editing for. I'm not going to put the cat on this one, I'm just going to use the melon. Because it's close up and further away. Okay, there's the melon. Oh, for, for a Christ few scenes. Sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. Mm -hmm. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Yeah, the cause of death is pretty fucking evident. But if you do this, and I do this, look. Oh, bless the race out. The neck would indicate a great deal of force. Freshly dead. Freshly dead. Okay. I wish you got something in the hand. I might use a car after all, so I just saw a vagina. <laughs> but why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Probably. She's only a young lass, too. At least their hands are white. Pure light white. Look at that. Just this Another one. wedding ring torn from the finger. Torn? That's fucking that skin ripped. Out of the fingernails. Like, that fucking thing got shredded off her hand. Are we checking the Kiss the Blood? Kiss the Blood. BD. Black Dahlia. Back to the Black Dahlia case. The last one wasn't Black Dahlia, one was a cover-up. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled. Battered. Naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Not Mother necessarily. No message. 
Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe. Again. Further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Okay, I like that guy. Right, let's head away from the naughtiness. Okay. Yeah, the stockings there you go. I'll try and do my best to avoid that because I don't want to edit it too she long. she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Yeah. But her neck was fucking torn apart. So this is what strikes me as odd because this is not the first time we've seen a, mur a murder case with a pack of cigarettes nearby. It's very interesting to see. Like, and it says so soft as well, it's tissues. Why the tissues, you know? Okay, let's go on a goose chase. And let's follow the blood. May as well follow the trail. We're gonna go on a goose chase! We might have to come back here for something else as well, but I don't, I'm not too sure yet. The hat. Antonia. Antonia. Huh, same as the library card. This was a hat, Phelps. Sure you knew this. Oh, I can't go through that. So where's the blood trail leading to me? Ah. I didn't see where the blood trail led before. Just going in a massive goose chase, going around in circles. It led places. Okay. Just making sure I don't feel no vibrations when it goes ding, ding, ding. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. This is that. Oh yeah, mosquito kill, poison. Interesting. Anything to look at here, Phelps? Oh, the oh, the thing on the th yeah, the the key on the pipe. Number five. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. So we've not really done this case yet, but we're still going through this when we return in the real stuff. Okay, bit of paper. Which means it's two got five, to be a code or a cipher. It says there's two five three to me because there's dices. Or numbers and die. All right. I think he's trying to lead us somewhere. Oh, we go. Probably all the way to City Hall. That crazy son of a bitch. This has got to be a Black Dahlia, the actual Black Dahlia. But what's why her? What's the motive? So I really don't know. Miss Miss this answer. It's probably. There you go. Empty. Empty? Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Well, it tells us that she's married because it's Missy, so, you know. Clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them of for course. us. There's somebody there glimmering go, over here. Or he might just be getting more confident. That's also true. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Definitely. Nothing what the victim wanted or the killer wanted. We're going up the pep. But the trail points up. It is, but why? I remember this. I, don't, I remember most of these cases, especially the last one. She got a wild fucking goose chase towards the end. It's mad. I nearly forgot about that. I didn't nearly forgot about this. Hold from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? I think he's telling us that she was married and she wanted to divorce. We should probably take the key as well for investigation purposes. Oh, shit. There we go. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. He was. Hopefully we've not missed anything up here because could really fucking do his in. This will tell us a real name I think inside here. Maldonado. Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 so he just says, Hill Street, downtown. Yeah, it just says that, but it doesn't tell you that she was married, but that letter did say she was married. Okay. Alright. 
Cool. We wrapped up easily. Yeah, this is definitely where we landed. Because I got in the car, then saved it. Because we was in a parking bay already. So, when we return tomorrow, this definitely saved us some 10 minutes of recording time. Because I've just had to catch up to where we were. And that's how the cases ended. And that's how the case began for this one. So, when you see us tomorrow, nothing will change from what we continue on from now on. So, that's all good. So, we can wrap up here real quick and we can get this video processed for what we need to do. But as for now, though, that is all there is going to be for today with this video of LA Noir. Sadly, it is not. The thing that what changed last time was in the previous case, Greg Grunberg ran away and we had to catch him. And I did that twice because I fucked up a little bit. So, I want to try and better get, get, bet, get a better case rating than I did in the replay, which is all good. But as for now, though, like I said, that is all there is going to be for today. As always, this is Rick Slight signing out. So let's cue music.